In this video, we will see different ways to uninstall or remove Commvault software on version 9, 10 and 11. Let's start with classic uninstall on version 9 agents. Commvault recommended way to remove its agents is using add or remove programs or programs and features window. Click on start control panel. Add or remove programs. In add or remove programs window, you will see all install software packages on the server including Commvault. If you click on click here for support information, you will see the production version 9 displayed. For video purposes we will remove only Commvault media agent but the process remains same for other agents. Select, Commvault media agent, and click, remove. Follow on screen instructions to remove the agent from the server. Second method is using Q uninstall all utility on version 10 agents. For demonstration purposes we will remove one agent using classic uninstall procedure. Click on start, control panel, programs and features. In programs and features window, you will see all install software packages on the server including Commvault. For video purposes we will remove only Commvault VSS hardware provider agent but the process remains same for other agents. Select, Commvault VSS hardware provider agent, and click, uninstall. Follow on screen instructions to remove the agent from the server. Browse to the location where you have saved Q uninstall all tool. You can request one from vendor Commvault support. Extract the tool on to any location, in our case it's the desktop. Once extracted, browse into the directory for Q uninstall all executable. Run the tool as administrator and follow on screen instructions to remove all agents from the server.
Third method is using Microsoft Cleanup Utility on version 11 agents. For demonstration purposes we will remove one agent using classic uninstall procedure. Click on Start, Control Panel, Programs and Features. In Programs and Features window, you will see only one entry of Commvault called, Commvault Content Store. Commvault has added all agents in one single entry to manage. Select, Commvault Content Store and click on Install. In the Select Uninstallation option, you can choose to either uninstall all packages, or, uninstall only selected packages. For video purposes we will select option to uninstall only selected packages. For now let's remove VSS hardware provider and VSS provider agents. But the process remains same for other agents. Follow on screen instructions to remove the agent from the server. Browse to the location where you have saved Microsoft Cleanup Utility, in our case it's the desktop. Install the utility by running it as administrator. Follow on screen instructions to complete the installation. Once installed, Click Start and browse for the executable. Run the tool as administrator and look for Commvault related entries from the list. Select the entry and click Remove. On the pop up, click OK to proceed. Once the list is refreshed look for all entries related to Commvault and remove them one by one. Once finished, Open Program Features to verify if Commvault related entries are gone. If they still exist then those are stale entries that need to removed manually by clicking Uninstall. As the software is removed you can delete Commvault related directories manually. Last method is dirty uninstall. It is not shown in this video as it is not a recommended procedure, which involves deleting Commvault related entries from registry and removing Commvault related files from server. Please like, share, comment and subscribe for more. Thanks.